Ah, the soothing, pulsing rhythms of the jellies. Beautiful, right? Well, I hope you like them. Jelly populations are on the rise in ocean waters around the world. I personally think that jellyfish are, you know, biologically fascinating, wonderful, beautiful, and everything else. But that doesn't mean that I want to have them take over the ocean. Larry Maiden is an expert in jellies at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. While he finds jellies fascinating, he's startled by how their populations are increasing. I was in Alaska last year and went out with a fisherman who was fishing for salmon. And when they pull up the nets, there's you know, more jellyfish than fish. So why are jellies taking over? Well, it's simply the way they are designed biologically. They don't depend as much on oxygen in the water as other ocean life, and they are highly tolerant of warmer oceans. So, imagine the ocean is like a maze with dots of food, kind of like the power pills Pac-Man likes to eat. As the ocean gets warmer, its concentration of oxygen decreases, which is problematic for fish that take oxygen from the water. However, jellies require little oxygen and soon find themselves with fewer predators and more food. Thus, their populations are skyrocketing. So what to do about this jelly issue? Some entrepreneurs are combating huge jelly populations with jelly products. For instance, one company has developed hair care products and some chefs are serving sea jelly martinis. Here are some more ideas. <laughs> jellyfish shoes. Joy buzzers for your friends using the stingers of jellyfish. Or why not a jellyfish wig? While these products may deal with some jelly populations, Overall, we need to work on the warming behind the population increase. And our cars and modes of transportation are responsible for a lot of that warming. Don't you be a gloomy Gus. Ooh, the Some communities are coming up with really bus. traditional ways of innovating on the problem of school bus exhaust. It's the walking school bus. Like a bus with tennis shoes? You got it. It's like 30% of morning traffic are people driving their kids to school. A lot of CO2 pumped out there. So, many communities are organizing walking school buses or groups of students led by adults to and from school. Lowest carbon, childhood obesity, and takes you on some cool shortcuts. Yep, the U.S. and many European countries have walking school bus programs you can get involved with. Look for them on www.neaq.org tours.